Now let's add an item into the item master file. So we go to cards, inventory, and item. And what I would need to do here is I can add or edit existing items. Let's take a look at an existing item. This is an existing item here, and you can see from my screen the only required fields are the item number, the description, and the unit of measure schedule. This unit of measure schedule is set up for an each. It's got zero decimal quantities, and you can see that that's reflected on the item level as well. Here it can add information about this particular item. There's different types of items. You can see those listed here. The sales inventory is the basic stock keeping unit. These three at the bottom are merely miscellaneous charges. They won't actually track quantities. And then there's also an information button. If I click on this here, this brings up additional information you can add to your system about a particular item. Let's go to the options screen here. And here I've got additional information about this particular item. Specifically, I, in the system I've got six user-defined fields that I can use to add additional information about a particular item. In my system, I have three of those defined. I have three additional ones I could use if I wanted to. Next, let's take a look at the price list. The price list can be accessed through the item master file here. If I go to the Go To button, go to the price list, it'll bring up this list here. And you can see there's different pricing methods avail available to me in the inventory system. A currency amount is just a flat dollar amount, and you can see the other options available here. For, for this particular item, I'm using the markup on the current cost. This is merely going to mark up that item based on the current cost in the system, and you can see the price list resulting here. Now, in this particular price list, I'm using multiple price levels. Price levels can be assigned to a particular customer or a group of customers. It just allows you to segment your pricing based on a customer or a group of customers. It's a user-defined value. You can easily add to your price list. You can see I've got two here. I've got a price level of extens extended and also retail. I can also include multi-currency pricing in my prices if I need to do that. 